My name is Peter Bodenbanner and I'm Editor-in-Chief at Montredo. This is one of my favorite watches from my collection, a vintage Junghans designed by Swiss artist Max Bill. They weren't exactly a big success in the early 60s and were only produced for about two years. Later the collection gained popularity for its unique design, recognized for its thin lines and timeless aesthetics. Considered by many as one of the most iconic models of German watchmaking, the Max Bill collection was reintroduced by Junghans in the late 90s. Its smoothly shaped catchy 4 is often referred to as the Max Bill 4, though it's also found on Junghans styles that were not designed by Max Bill. This particular watch is from 1962 and was presented to a steel worker on his 25th year of work at the Völklinger Hütte factory, today part of the UNESCO World Cultural Heritage. It just humbles me thinking of how much time and work that man spent to earn this watch. It's a hand wind example with a gold plated case. Measuring only 34 mm is quite a small watch for today's standards, yet on my thin wrist it wears very nicely. I don't think it's a coincidence that many musicians are watch guys and like their timepieces just as much as their instruments. There's a similar level of craftsmanship that goes into making both and the person owning it has a very emotional and personal attachment to it. Based on the same technical principles as hundreds of years ago, they are both pieces of art, and to me the finish and the touch is just as important as the actual function it fulfills. Max Bill always sought to create pieces of universal aesthetics, and I think this is a watch that will always be a nice watch regardless of time or fashion trends. <laughs>